Okay, let me show you how to download the Music Stand app. First, you want to go to the App Store and then search field and type in Music Stand. And it's going to be this blue one top left. Okay, so the one looks like this. All right, download it. It's free. I'll go ahead and open it. It will ask you to log in, so you'll use the email that you um, that you got. You get your planning center notifications from. You put your email in there. If you don't know your password, you just click um, the forgot password button there that you saw, and then you just type in your email address and hit the checkbox, and it will send you uh, a new thing to set up a password. Okay. So once you have a password, you log in, and this will be the first thing you see. You'll have your schedule, and you're scheduled for the 19th and 20th, which is Easter. So you'll click uh, right here, and then this page will come up, and you'll notice there's all your songs right there um, in order. Now you can um, there's there's different files attached to each song. Like for, you see how it says "God is able" lyrics right here. In order to view. Um, to pick which document you click or you, you don't click you just tap with your finger um, right here on this arrow and it will bring a drop down like this and you'll click what you want to see rhythm is basically it's a band chart okay so you guys don't need to see that but for choir you're looking for something that says SATB or SAT um, or if you just want to look at the lyrics you, you can click the lyrics but you can only look at one at a time so that little check mark shows you which one you're on all you'll do is once you select that, you'll just tap the title, the song title right here, and it will take you to here. And you can look at the lyrics that way. Um, <clears throat> if you want to uh, look at the sheet music, um, you'll to, in order to get out of the screen, you'll just double double tap anywhere in the screen, double tap, um, and it will bring you back to here. So you select the SATV and then you click God is able again. And now you're looking at the sheet music. You can do some cool stuff from here. Just tap once in the middle of the screen and it'll bring this blue bar down. This button is your, is your MP3s. This is a metronome if you want it. And this is like if you want to make edits. Um, so, okay, so if you click this button right here it will automatically start to play um, a song and if you want you know if you want the alto part you click this button right here playlist and it'll drop down all the tracks associated with this song so you'll click the alto track or something and then it will start playing the alto track um, <clears throat> so that's that feature and you can look at your music while it's playing so that's cool um, the next thing you can do is hit this button right here and that will bring up um, your editing options. You can click this button to draw and so you can just make notes that way. This button highlights. Um, I, don't, I don't really ever use this button. This kind of thing is like a mover tool. Um, this button right here is to, to type text if you want to type text and then this is the color of whatever you want. This is the size of whatever you want. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, also the title of the song, uh, if you want to zoom in, uh, or you can also change your PDF from inside right here if you wanted to look at the lyrics real fast, you can click on that. Um, but I'm showing you the zoom feature. You can hit zoom right there, and uh, then you can zoom in on your document however you like just pinch and zoom and when you're done you just click done and you're done so that's an overview of the app kind of get you used to get you used to it um, and all your sheet music files will be in order so you can just swipe through them so that's the music stand app <laughs>